In this video, I'll show you how to send money with wires. Now you can send money locally with the currency that you already have, or you can use wires to exchange currencies and then send internationally as well. It's the same process for both, so I'll show you how to do this. And I'm assuming you've got a wise account set up already. If you don't, I'll leave a video below going through how to do that. The first thing that we need to do is tell WISE the details of the recipient who's going to receive the funds. That can be yourself if you have a bank account in a different country or a friend or a business or anything like that. So down at the bottom, we can press recipients. And then up at the top here, it says add a recipient. So we're going to click that. Now we can choose the currency that we want to send over. So we need to essentially tell WISE the bank account that we're sending to, which currency is that bank account. Of course, WISE is used for international transfers. So if you want to do a foreign currency exchange at the same time that you're sending, you can do that. You just need to tell WISE which uh, currency that you want to send. So let's go and send some US dollars. Now that's gonna be a foreign currency transaction for me because I'll be drawing pounds and sending dollars. WISE can do all of this at the same time. Now, if you know that the friend or the person that you're sending to has a WISE account, then you can just ask them for their WISE tag. That's a unique identifier. Uh, and they can give you that and you can just send it instantly via WISE from your account to their WISE account. If they don't have a WISE account, many people don't, then you're going to need the banking details. And that's going to be different depending where you live, right? So if you're sending a domestic transfer in the US, you might need a routing number, for example. If you're sending international transfers, most of the time you need an IBAN and a SWIFT code. Now, the bank that you're sending to, that will have that and you have to ask for that from the other person or just get it from your other account. You have to tell WISE then who you're sending to. So let's say that I'm sending to myself. And from here it says, what are the details? Where are you going to send it? Well, the recipient's bank details, I know that the dollar account that I'm sending to is an international account. And that means that I have to use SWIFT. ACH and WIRE are domestic for the US. And of course, because I'm sending dollars, it gives me the details and the options that I may need. But I'm going to be sending internationally, so I know that I need the SWIFT details right here. And it says, if you're sending USD to someone outside of the US, you'll be charged extra fees. The SWIFT network charges fees, and so WISE pass some of that on to you. If you're sending domestic transfers, then most of the time WISE is going to give you that basically for free. Um, but you can see the name of the account holder. I chose myself, so it's auto-populated my name. And then down here, all I need is the SWIFT code and the IBAN. Now go over to the bank details where you're sending uh, the money. And if it's not you, then you have to ask SWIFT and IBAN for an international transfer. If you're sending domestically, that's going to be different, right? So for example, in the US, if you want to send a wire, you have the routing number and account number, and then you have to tell them checking and savings. So it's going to ask you for those details. Go and get the details of the bank that you're sending to and then populate them in here. Once you've added the recipient's bank details, you should now see them come up in your list. And there is also a flag which denotes the currency of the account that you've just added to make it simple in the future. Now what we need to do is send the money. So there's two ways to do this. There's the easy way, which is linking WISE to your banking app on your phone. We can do this once. And then from there, you don't even need any money in your WISE account. You can just tell WISE how much you want to send and even do a foreign currency exchange all at the same time. So WISE will draw money out of your bank do a foreign currency exchange and send the money all at once without you having to preload your WISE account. If you can do that, then that's the easiest and I'll show you how to do that. If you can't link WISE to a banking app on your phone, you'll have to fund your WISE account manually, which means getting your WISE bank details and manually going to your bank account and sending money over to WISE first. I'll show you how to add money manually into your WISE account then by getting your WISE bank details first. And that's how you can load money into your WISE account. For me, the local currency is pounds. So I'll just click pounds here. And then just below the balance, there's a green box. So I'm going to click that. And it should say something like add account details. This is giving me local details for me in the UK, an account number and a sort code. I can then manually go over to my bank and I can send money from my bank to my WISE bank account. And that will uh, eventually load the money into my WISE account. If you're in a different country, uh, you may use a different banking system, but you can go manually to your bank, get your bank details for WISE, and then send the money over. Once you have the money in your WISE account, then you can go and send it. You can also do a foreign currency exchange transaction uh, before sending the money if you want to do that. So once you've got your local currency, if you want to send a foreign currency, then you just go to convert. That's in the middle left. Press convert here. And let's say that I've got some money into uh, my pound sterling account and I want to send some dollars. So I'm going to do that. And it's going to say, that's fine. You can transfer uh, $10 into USD. I can press review and convert. That would give me a US dollar balance. 
Now I can send those dollars out to the dollar bank account that I've added previously. The other way we can send money with Wise, and it's easier once you've got it set up, is to link the banking app on your phone with your Wise app. If you have both of these apps on your phone, you can do this. And once it's set up, you can draw money directly from that bank account as you're sending the transfer, and you can do an FX in the same screen as well. So you don't need to preload money onto your Wise account. So I'll show you how to do this first. We need to do one transfer and deposit in first like this. And then once the bank account is linked, you can auto draw from it in the future. So we're gonna press add money at the top. And then from here it says, how much do you want to add? So I'll just put an amount in. It defaults to the local currency because that's the currency you'll be drawing from your bank. It says that I'm paying in pounds, which is local for me and then paying with. Now it's already added my bank account here. So I'm gonna go to the right hand side and press change. And you'll want to choose the bank transfer option. Now there are other ways to add money to your account, but if you want to draw automatically from your bank in the future, just press bank transfer here. So I'll click that and it's gonna go through, once I press continue at the bottom, to a list of banking apps that you may have on your phone. Okay, like this. And then just choose the banking app that you have on your phone. Wise is going to open the app and it's going to ask you, are you okay linking Wise to the banking app? Now your banking app is also going to make you log in. Uh, so you have to go through that process as well. I'm sure that's fairly easy if you have the banking app on your phone, Face ID, Touch ID or whatever. The banking app will make you log in and confirm that you want to add Wise um, and so you can draw money in the future. So go ahead and do that. It's a couple of screens that I can't show you here because my bank account's already added. But log into your banking app, confirm everything, confirm the account which you want to draw money from in the future so that you can link Wise with your bank. And then once you've done that, it's linked your bank account to your Wise account. You can make a small transfer in first just to link those accounts. And then in the future, because that bank account is now linked, when you go to send money in the future, you don't need money in your Wise account. You can draw it directly out of your bank at the same time that you're sending the funds. I already have my bank account linked, so I'll show you exactly how a transfer would work. Down in the bottom, I press recipients. I've got my US dollar recipient right here, and it's an international transfer, so I'll be using Swift. In any case, I've already added their details, so I'll click into the recipient. I'm gonna press send. Now I only have 10 pounds in my account, but I want to send 100 pounds out to the recipient. And you can see Wise says, that's absolutely fine. You can send 100 pounds and the recipient will get $104. Now notice also there are some fees here. So what you can do is choose the exact amount that the recipient gets. So for example, if I know that uh, the recipient wants $100 or, or something like that, then they will get $100 and Wise will work out how much you have to pay. That will be the local currency, the exchange rate, and any fees. They will say, if you want the recipient to get $100, this is how much of your local currency that you need to spend in order to send that exact amount. So I'm paying with my bank. It arrives today in three hours. You can see the total fees. That will be a SWIFT fee because it's an international transfer and a foreign currency exchange transaction as well. If you're sending funds locally, you'll find that the fees are much less. International transfers are a bit more. And then I can press continue. And because I've added the recipient already, it will just go through with that transfer. It is drawing the money directly out of my bank account here because I don't have the funds within WISE. If I did have the funds within WISE, it would just say pay with WISE balance and I wouldn't have to do that. So that's how you send money from WISE. I'll leave a longer video guide down in the description and some deposit and trading bonuses on some other exchanges that I use, I'll put down there as well. I'm James, it's Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.